She is known for being an American writer who advocated for improved treatment of Native Americans by the United States government. She highlighted the negative repercussions of government actions in her historical work A Century of Dishonor. Her novel Ramona shed light on the mistreatment of Native Americans in Southern California and gained widespread popularity for its romantic and picturesque qualities. Her name is Helen Hunt Jackson. In the realm of American literature and activism, one name stands out, Helen Hunt Jackson. A poet and writer, Jackson dedicated herself to fighting for the fair treatment of Native Americans by the United States government. Her influential work, A Century of Dishonor, shed light on the injustices faced by Native Americans due to government actions. Jackson's powerful words resonated with readers, highlighting the need for change. But it was her novel, Ramona, that catapulted Jackson into the spotlight. This gripping tale dramatized the mistreatment of Native Americans in Southern California following the Mexican-American War. Although the novel showcased the federal government's wrongdoing, it was its romantic and picturesque qualities that captured the hearts of readers. Ramona became a commercial success, with an estimated 300 reprints, and drew tourists to Southern California, eager to witness the places described in the book. Helen Hunt Jackson's legacy extends far beyond her literary achievements. Her work brought attention to the plight of Native Americans, sparking conversations about justice and equality. Jackson's dedication to her cause serves as a reminder of the power of literature to inspire change and shape public opinion. Her impact on the field of literature and advocacy remains profound, forever etching her name in the annals of American history. In 1879, Helen's interests turned to Native Americans after she heard a lecture in Boston by Chief Standing Bear of the Ponca tribe. The chief described the forcible removal of the Ponca from their Nebraska reservation and their harsh conditions in Indian Territory. Upset about the mistreatment of Native Americans by government agents, Helen became an activist on their behalf. She started investigating and publicizing government misconduct, raising awareness through circulating petitions and writing letters to the New York Times. Helen's fiery and prolific writing style led to heated exchanges with federal officials, especially U.S. Secretary of the Interior Carl Schurz, whom she once called the most adroit liar I ever knew. Through her writings, Helen exposed the government's violation of treaties with American Indian tribes and documented the corruption of U.S. Indian agents, military officers, and settlers who encroached on and stole reserved Indian lands. Her reports were published by supportive newspaper editors such as William Hayes Ward of the New York Independent, Richard Watson Gilder of the Century Magazine, and Whitelaw Reed of the New York Daily Tribune. Helen's relentless advocacy and determination to bring justice to Native Americans earned her widespread recognition and support. Her efforts paved the way for future activism and shed light on the injustices faced by American Indian tribes. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.